the word Passover is a new word in English that was created. And it was transliterated into English. So you know what word they used to use? Easter. Easter. And in the translations leading up to the King James Bible, the word Easter was used way more often into, until the King James Bible was only used one time. And it's not an error either. See, other people want to say, oh, that's an error. You shouldn't use Easter. But you can't say that those other versions were wrong when using that word when the word didn't even exist. When Tyndale was the one who actually created the word and started introducing it, because it's a, it's a good word. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. It's a, it's a perfect transliteration of, of the Pashka. Uh, I'm, not, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but that's, that's the, you know, where the word came from. But Passover, that's what it means. It's what that, what that underlying word means. It just didn't exist in English, and now it does, and being used, you know, but, but that Easter meant the same thing. It was referring, and, and that's also how we know that it's not just based off of this pagan thing and everything else, because that's not how it was used. It's not how it was being used at all. It's, that wasn't what it, how it was understand to be, understood to be meant for any reason. Christ was referred to as the Easter lamb, where now we look at him as the Passover lamb. Anyhow, let, uh, let's get back into looking at this passage because this is, that's one lesson we could learn in, over and over again in Scripture. You see that happening where there's slight differences and it's not word for word and we don't have to worry about that because it is exactly the same thing. But what I love about this passage also, though, is that it does teach us that a virgin conceiving is being with child because that has been under attack now for a long time with the abortions. Yeah. We say, oh, well, when someone's pregnant, I mean, you've got idiots that'll say that, well, someone doesn't really become a person until they breathe their first breath. That's the Ruckmanite retard position of, you know, trying to, to justify abortions and whatever else, whatever kind of wickedness, saying that, oh, it's not really a person until they're born, until they're born out of the womb? Are you crazy? Yeah. Being referred to with child, it means you have a child in your womb. That's a child. It's a person. It's a, real, it's a real human being inside there. And that's a child, being with child, that's a child from conception. And even the scripture will define what it means to conceive because Guess what? It's not, conceiving isn't implantation. Conceiving is a moment, and you can get this from Hebrews 11, if you want to turn to Hebrews 11. A person, a woman, a woman, yeah, I'm using genders appropriately because only women can get pregnant and women can give birth and women, are, you know, it's only women that can do that. Some real hard preaching for you. It's crazy. Conception, conceiving happens when the seed of the woman and the seed of the man come together. That's conception. That's being with child. Hebrews 11, verse 11 says, Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. So conce that word conceive, the conception is the conceiving of the seed because after that point, the seed no longer exists. The seed of the man, no, it, it, it's, it's formed into something new at that point. You can, you're no lo once that union happens, you're no longer referring to the seed as something separate. The seed, the egg, right? That, that's, that's no longer something separate. That conception makes, that's, that's that new life, and that's when you have a child. Amen. That's when the child is formed in the womb. Now, obviously, it continues to be formed and fashioned, and, and from that moment then, after that moment is when, you know, the, the implantation happens, and the uterus wall and, and starts to grow and get more sustenance and stuff. But see, people want to try to find these loopholes because they want to lay with people like they're married and they're not married and they don't want to have the consequences of having that type of relationship of actually, you know, having children. 
Oh, what am I going to do now? Oh, I'm not prepared for this. Oh, I'm not. well then, what are you doing holding around then? 